Potatoes might be comfort food for some, but for a huge portion of our planet, they're a lifeline. This humble crop feeds more than a billion people every year, making it one of the most important foods on Earth. But growing potatoes, that's where it gets tricky. Farmers rely on planting bulky tubers, which are hard to store, expensive to move, and vulnerable to disease, drought, and changing market. What if there were a better way? What if we could grade those heavy tubers for lightweight, disease-free, fruit potato seeds? It's an idea scientists have chased for decades, and now Solinta has made it real. That's why we chose Solinta as a winner in the 2025 Seed World Global Innovation Showdown. Because this isn't just a better way to grow potatoes. It's a breakthrough with the power to transform how food is grown, moved and shared around the world. We are here in the northwest corner of the Netherlands and in one of the beautiful greenhouses of Solinta. And I'm very excited today because we're going to meet up with Charles Miller, who's Director of Strategic Alliances and Development. Let's see if we can find him. Hey, Charles, good to see you. Hey, yeah, Marcel, great to see you again. Welcome to one of Solinta's seed production greenhouses. Wonderful, beautiful greenhouse, but can you explain what you're doing? Absolutely. Well, here we make our hybrid true potato seeds. So we're taking pollen from one of these male plants and we're transferring it to a female flower. And once you do that, you end up with berries, much like a tomato. And inside each one of these berries is our true potato seeds. And these seeds are what deliver the genetic difference to the growers that is game changing. Before I tell you more about our technology and our business, let me first introduce you to something about the potato industry. Potatoes are a cornerstone of the global food security, feeding over 1.3 billion people every year and generating a market value of over 96 billion euros. However, traditional potato cultivation has remained unchanged for centuries. Farmers rely on bulky, disease-prone seed tubers, which increase costs of transportation, of storage, and leave a large environmental footprint. Crops are also left vulnerable to late blight, a disease that costs the industry 6.2 billion euros annually. You know, Salinta is changing the game, and we're doing that with our hybrid breeding and our true potato seeds. It's a two-step process. We're changing the system and we're changing the breeding methodology. At Salinta, we're changing the game of potato growing. We're delivering our hybrid genetics in true potato seeds. Yeah. We all know hybrids, right? They've been around for a long time, but they've never before been delivered to potato growers globally as true potato seeds or as hybrids. So with hybrids, we can actually apply a lot of the modern genetic breeding techniques like molecular breeding and things like that. Now to be clear, what we're doing is completely GMO free, but by using hybrids with elite females and elite males where we know the genetics in those parent lines, we're able to pick the traits that bring value to growers that could be traits like a better French fry, a better potato chip. It could even be disease resistance, like late blight, for example. Late blight, for example, cost the global potato industry something like 6.2 billion euros every year, not to mention the amount of chemicals that are being used. And of course, we all want the chemicals to be reduced. It's very interesting, Charles, but what does this bring to potato growers? Like I said earlier, this is a complete game changer for the potato industry and specifically for the potato growers. I mean, like I said, we're delivering these hybrid genetics in true seeds. The potato industry is used to planting seed tubers, and this is a new delivery system for the genetics. But it's a delivery system that almost all farmers know. They can use exactly the same machinery that they plant their onion seeds with, to plant these true potato seeds. At the end of the day, the changes are not that dramatic for the grower. 
but it allows them to do things completely different. Instead of bringing an entire truckload that's 20 tons of seed tubers to their farm, they would need to bring 20 of these small vials, which can be delivered by Federal Express, or they can drive down to their local post office and pick it up. It, it, this completely changes everything. And that's just the delivery mechanism. When you start to think about the genetics and the potential that we can have with hybrid breeding and the targeted focus breeding, that allows us to give exactly what the farmers need in this dramatically changing world. I enjoyed your analogy, Charles, where you said an African farmer could go with the bicycle mm -hmm. to the local post office, pick up this tube, mm -hmm. and he has the same equivalent as two or three thousand tons of, uh, of potato tubers. No, it's exactly right. I've been in Rwanda numerous occasions and I've seen many of the local farmers put a hundred kg sack of tubers on the back of their bicycle and then need to cycle up the mountain a few kilometers, right? In the end, with this technology, they can go to their local aggregate, take one of these vials and carry it back. It's a complete different system. The game changer. Exactly. So with our new true potato seeds, farmers are now able to directly sow the seeds or they can even transplant seedlings if that's their preferred method of getting the crop into the ground. And the really unique thing about this is that these true seeds that we see here or the seedlings can be transplanted with currently available machinery. This provides a lot of efficiency for the growers. So but how, how does it work exactly? So what we do is we take these seeds, these naked true potato seeds, we have them pelletized. That means that it's much easier for the machines to use the seed. And then they're automatically transplanted either into the seedling trays or into the soil, depending on the preferred methodology. We're doing this actively in countries like Japan, Kenya, the Netherlands, France, and all those growers are seeing really good results. They're not having to transport tubers across the countryside. They're not having to store tubers over the winter. They simply can order one of these cans of seed or go down to their local agri store and purchase the seed. Mm -hmm. Can you give some examples, Charles, of where it worked well? So in places like France last year, mm -hmm. we saw very competitive yields with one of our very new products. And one of the reasons we saw those competitive yields is if you remember correctly, it was a difficult year. We got a lot mm -hmm. of rain at some points in time and that caused late blight to come in earlier and more severe than we expected. That farmer used one of our late blight resistant varieties and as a result, he created a very good crop with very limited chemical usage. Fantastic. But are you telling me that this immediate then immediately leads to a good yield? So nothing will immediately lead to a good yield. Okay. We've been in this game long enough to know that, I think. But what we can do is by combining the hybrid true potato seeds with the ability to look into the genome and understand what traits are bringing value to growers, we can then combine all of the things required to increase yield, to increase resistances, and provide a quality product to the growers and the consumers. All these things increase the environmental sustainability of the potato farming. And they also increase food security. Wonderful. Hey, hey, Mark. Hi, Marcel. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. Hey, Mark, I, uh, I heard you just joined Solinta to lead the sales team and the go-to-market strategy. Can you explain a bit about the opportunities of true potato seed? Yes, I can. So we see an increasing demand uh, towards our products, um, specifically in regions where there is low or uncertain uh, availability of uh, proper starting materials. We also see an increase from areas where it is high late blight pressure. And we see demand from growers that are actively looking for, let's say, innovations. For instance, to avoid them using chemical crop protection products. Interesting. But then can you speak a bit more about the go-to-market strategy? 
Yes, so we work with uh, both distributors and with growers. Uh, distributors, uh, as an example, uh, in Kenya with Bayer. Um, and that is to help us to leverage on local network and expertise, but also, for instance, from a regulatory affairs perspective. And with growers, obviously, because that is where we actually bring the value. Wonderful. Thanks for explaining, Mark. Good luck with your strategy. Thank you. So, Charles, this is all very fascinating and very exciting. But tell me, you started Salinta 18 years ago. No. Why did it take so long? So while hybrid breeding may not be new, hybrid breeding is completely new to potatoes. And that means we had to build the system from the ground up. We had to understand the genome of potatoes. We had to develop elite female and male lines where we understood what was happening in those uh, lines. And then we had to create the genetics of the hybrid by combining the two. These things take time. And that's the reason it took as long as it has taken. But with what all we've learned in building that pipeline today, we are going to revolutionize the potato industry. At Salenta, we're taking huge steps forward in agricultural innovation. We believe the future of potatoes lies in hybrid breeding. As our industry continues to innovate, Salenta will continue to expand globally. We will help farmers everywhere grow potatoes more efficiently, sustainably, and profitably.